A question to the Treasurer. Uh, will the Treasurer outline to the House what the costs are of weakening Australia's border protection measures? The Treasurer has the call. <laughs> thank you, Mr Speaker. And I thank the member for Bowman for his question. And I can inform the House that the cost of weakening our borders is high, Mr Speaker. It is very high because the cost to the budget of reopening Christmas Island of transferring the detainees from Nauru and Manus to the mainland and the administrative costs of implementing these changes is $1.4 billion, Mr Speaker. And that is not even taking into account the costs that will be incurred from new arrivals. And if history is any guide, if Labor is allowed to inhabit the Treasury benches, there will be new unauthorised arrivals. Because the last time the Labor Party were in government, we saw 800 boats and 50,000 unauthorised boat arrivals. 8,000 children ended up in detention, and 2,000 children were in detention when we came to government. And tragically, more than 1,000 people lost their lives at sea. 17 new detention centres were open, and there was a huge uh, physical cost, emotional cost, and of course, budgetary cost. And the cost of Labor's failed border protection policies was $16 billion. $16 billion could build 1,000 primary schools, Mr. Speaker. That's more than 10 schools in each electorate of those opposite. In Hotham, in Herbert, in Braddon, in Bass, in Brand, you could have more than 10 primary schools if you didn't have the cost of Labor's folly when it came to borders. $16 billion would build 100 new hospitals. That's a new hospital in every electorate of those sitting opposite. So, Mr Speaker, in contrast to the Labor Party, we put in place strong border protection policies that have worked, policies that have stopped the boats, policies that have allowed us to close detention centres, policies that have allowed us to save lives, policies that have allowed us to take every single child out of detention. Now, Mr. Speaker, these are policies that have worked. These are policies that have made Australia safer. These are policies that Labor now wants to unwind.